Welcome to Toffee Blue View, your source for all things Everton. I'm Jerry. Max and Terry are here. And we've got to do a match preview of the Brighton fixture this weekend. Um, they're currently 13th in the table. 6, 4, and 9. 22 points. Uh, recently drew with Arsenal. 1-1. One, one. Lost to Bournemouth. 2-0. Lost to Chelsea. 2-1. So uh, th there's a possibility... Ryan m might be out as far as keeper because uh, maybe because of Asia Cup. Not really sure. All I, all I know is I can't find an injury with him. Uh, so there's that. So Button might be playing. But if not, we know Matt Ryan's a quality keeper. All right. Um, other possible starters, Montoya, Dunk, Duffy. Because I think Dunk has already served his red card suspension. I believe that's right. Um, uh, Bernardo, Solly March, Davy Proper, Stevens, Locadia, uh, Gross, Pascal Gross, uh, and either uh, Andone or Glenn Murray, English Chink Tosin. So, uh, Danger Man, I could see pa Pascal Gross is just really good player. Yeah. Just a, I'm kind of like he didn't have to play. He didn't play against us last time. I think he may have been injured. So, uh, it sucks that he's back for us. Uh, he's a good player, but and uh, you know they're they're two strikers, Andone and Murray. They both can score. Mm. Opportunistic. Max, you want to start us off, man? It, it, what, what actually concerns you about this uh, Brighton squad? They, it's an interesting one, obviously, coming off the back of that 5-1. I, I don't, I don't, you know, we can't, it's not as, well, I say this touch wood. I hope, hopefully we're not going to be letting our ego get the better of us and thinking this is a sealed mm. three points. Uh, yeah, Max, not, not necessarily the easiest place to go. I think t Terry came up with a good one before. Who had they only been beat by at home? Um, I think it was Tottenham and Chelsea at home. In the last 12 games, they've only been beaten by those two teams at mm. home. Yeah, so, but, I mean, it's not going to be a cakewalk by any means, but you should think we should go. We, we should definitely go into this game with the same mentality that we have following the Burnley one. And, you know, we should aim to steamroll them, but hopefully that won't leave us too exposed at the back. And, obviously... The big one is the big question: Are we, you know, are we going to roll with the three at the back again, or are we going to revert back to a four? Big question. We may have to delve more into that in our starting eleven segment. I think that's going to be uh, one of the biggest points of conversation in that in that segment. Um, Terry, what are you thinking about Brighton? Yeah, as Max said, then like on, on paper, you you know, you could look at it and go, well. They're not as good as us, so that should, you know we should be looking to win that one. But they are a very good uh, team at home. Um, but off the back of the result we've just had, I mean, you can never take a game for granted, especially at this time of year, because you don't know what players are going to you know carry in fatigue and whatnot. But you need to look to build on a result like that. The the, the we've drawn hopefully drawn a line under the the poor results in December now with that big win over Burnley, and if you win. This game, then that's two quick fire back to back away wins, and that could just go a long way for towards the rest of the season, just for squad confidence, if nothing else. So mm. they're a good side, Brighton. I mean, um, Max touched on it before we started. Um, if the Burnley game was our best uh, performance of the season, I think uh, a close second would probably be the home game against Brighton. We played really well against them and were really good in attack, and I'd be looking to do that. Make, give that sort of performance again as a, you know they're a decent team but they shouldn't they haven't really got the quality of player that we've got like as Richarlison showed where he, he, he made a fool at Duffy in the home game by knocking the ball around him like he was a kid I, I would hope to see some of the players who played well last game like Bernard Walcott I'd like to see their, them, those two and others build on their performances and see if we can kick on from that and use that Burnley win as a platform for the rest of the season yeah. yeah, yeah. I think uh, I think Chris Hutton's done a really good job with him, to be honest. Uh, considering the situation, um, he's got some stability uh, in terms of you know his players know what he wants from them. Uh, they're organized defensively. Um, yeah, they're they're kind of one of those teams that uh, they're not the easiest to break down yeah it, it, especially you, at home yeah if you think about it they only just they, they only got promoted last season and they you know they look mm -hmm. real steady at these now and i think 
a point that's worth making on our behalf is that Burnley win was only our second away win so far this season after mm-hmm. the, the win against Leicester. So, I mean, that certainly plays into Brighton's hand with them being, you know, good home performers. But, mm-hmm. you know, sure, surely it's getting to this stage now where there's enough cohesion in the squad, certainly look like that against Burnley, that we can over we can out we can out we you know, we can out fire teams that are mm-hmm. good at home, so to speak. If they, you know, if if they are lowly in the league, we, we you know we need to ramp up the points certainly after that poor December run. It's what top teams do. They go to grounds where the the opposition have got a good home um, record, but the the quality just shows. They overpower them. Like if you want to be a top team, you need to start putting performances like that in, not like getting the excuses in here. Like oh well, they're good at home, and you know they you know they they're strong defensively. It's like yeah, that they that's true, but. You, at what point do you just turn around and say, "Listen, the quality of our players, the amount uh, we've invested in our squad, we should be looking to be just rolling teams like that." You know, st- rolling over teams like this it doesn't always work like that. We've uh, had that had that bite us earlier in the month. We, I think, we all felt a, bit, a little bit like that before the Newcastle game and ended up dropping two points. And then same again with Watford. But it doesn't mean you stop trying. I mean, we want to get to the point where we're just too strong for teams like this and then we can only have to worry about taking that next step to the other, the bigger teams. Mm. These are, I mean, matches like this are really important. You know, uh, you, if you want to be progressing, you know, you don't, you don't travel to Brighton and, and drop three. You know what I mean? If you're wanting to progress, if we are on this trajectory that we are supposedly trying to be on, you know what I mean? So, uh, I, I don't want to. I, I think I think we've complimented Brighton in terms of you know seeing what they are. I think we said a lot of positive things. Having said that, this this should be it seems like it should be a win, yeah. right? Should yeah. be, you know. Um, we ex- we expect that if we play the way you know we saw on Boxing Day. So, um, having said that, and having said all of us go yes to that question uh, or to that statement. Uh, what's our predictions? 3-1. 3-1 says Terry. 2-0. 2-0 nil. Nil says Max. And Jerry says 2-1. We're kind of going against statistics a bit here in terms of Brighton not really giving up a lot of losses at home and ever not really getting a lot of wins away from home. Um, I think we're just basing this on uh, recent form. Mm. <clears throat> and maybe there's some optimism in our predictions as well. So I'm fine with that. Uh, <laughs> so, guys, I guess that's it for our, uh, our Brighton preview. We're going to follow that up with our starting 11 versus Brighton segment where we'll try to predict what Marco's going to do. Good luck with that, guys. Uh, but in the meantime, if you've been digging <clears> the videos, thanks so much. Please subscribe to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel. You know, give us, you know, give us a sub. Por favor, we'd appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to uh, to see Max's words, Max's analysis, check the Toffee Blues website where he'll uh, he'll drop some Everton knowledge on there all the time. But he's got some other places he shows up. Check his Twitter for that. Check, check, check Terry's Twitter, because uh, every once in a while he'll show up on the Liverpool Echo Fan Jury, so you can check out his analysis there. And I believe that's all. So stay tuned for the Starting Eleven segment. Bye.